Hey Bullfrogs, it's Miss Fleener. Um, hopefully you checked out the slideshow for the Global Game Changers information before you started watching this video. Um, we discussed what the equation for global, global Game Changer is. So your talent plus your heart equals your superpower. Um, we talked about the what the four art forms are. Dance, drama, music, and visual art, which you guys are going to be working on with me today. Um, and then we talked about igniting good. Um, there were some success stories. So hopefully you read about um, the students that were real life superheroes. And then there was kind of an overview, which I'll read to you now. We are surrounded by art as soon as we stop outside. Architecture, graffiti, lawn ornaments, people dancing on the street or whistling a tune here are all forms of art we might experience in a regular day. Appreciating the arts can help us grow as people. You can ignite good for the arts badge by creating your own art and sharing it, supporting new artists, or showing your appreciation for public art by donating to arts organizations. So we're going to be focusing on that street art aspect of um, going outside and, and seeing art everywhere. Um, and we're going to pick a positive message that we want to our street art to express. You can pick a different word than I do. Um, there are just a few steps that I want you to do the same as mine. So like how you write the word, even if it's a different word than I, I'm using, um, the bubble around the word, and some things in the background. And then I want to see your creativity. There are also on the very last slide of that presentation, there are um, some examples of some really cool street artists. So if nothing else, go check out those examples because um, I think they really inspire your art. For this lesson, you're going to need a piece of paper, something to draw with, and then something to color with. It could be paint. I kind of went with that style because graffiti art is often painted or street art. Um, but you could also use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you have around to color. Color is important in this process. So when you go to turn in your artwork, please make sure that you have colored it as well as drawn it. All right, so I'm gonna go with the word hope. Like I said, you can pick a different positive word if you like. We're gonna draw it really big across the middle of our paper. Our paper is turned landscape. And we're going to write it in either a block or a bubble letter style. So I'm going to show you how to do that if you've never done it before. Um, but if you know how to do bubble letters or block letters, then um, you can do them how you know how. So I'm going to, I do want your word to be written in all capital letters. So I'm going to write my word really big in all capital letters across the middle here. All right, now to make these bubble letters, I'm going to double all the sticks. So here on my H, I repeated that vertical line and I crossed that off. And now I have a block letter. I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side of the H. It's okay if my letters end up touching each other. O's super simple. You just draw a smaller O, o inside. Now, if I were drawing with a pencil, I could go back and erase these lines in the center here, like here and right here. And that would make my artwork look nicer. But you can't see when I draw in pencil. So we're just going to work with them. All right, now I want you to outline your word up the side, across the top, and down the other side. Leave the open, the bottom part open for now. And I kind of go with the shape of the letters. So I'm going to dip here like the H does without actually touching the letters. Go in between the H and the O, over the O, over the P, over the E, bumping down the legs of the E, and then stopping. Now across the bottom, I want you to look like that kind of cloud around it is dripping. They can be long drips, skinny drips, short drips, 
kind of mix it up. Okay, now in this space that I have outside of my cloud, I'm going to add some bubbles. So it's just a circle with that kind of semicolon sign in the top right corner. If you don't see the top right corner, like my bubble is hanging off the paper there, then you don't have to draw the semicolon. You can make big bubbles, small bubbles, you can make bubbles that overlap each other, like these two bubbles. They can touch your cloud. I think I've gotten all the bubbles I want. So at this point, this is where I want you to think about other things you could add to this to bring in that street art element and to um, ignite good. So if you picked a different word like peace and then you wanted to add some things like peace signs or um, other positive symbols like hearts or um, rainbows, things like that that really make it send that positive message and make people happy. Um, because it's street art, I'm going to make it look like my art is on a brick wall. So I'm going to draw some horizontal lines. You don't have to do this. You are on the independent part. So if you like something you see, you can repeat it. But you do not have to do this part. A little tricky when you get to the drips. Now I'm not going to go all the way from top down with my vertical lines. I have to stagger them because that's how bricks are laid. They are staggered to make them stronger. So I'm going to draw my short little vertical lines across the top one here. And then I'm going to make sure not to line them up when I do the next row. And I would just keep going. Here is the one I started painting from earlier today. You can see I included this starburst behind it and then I went back and made my letters look like they were three-dimensional. So lots of possibilities. I can't wait to see what you, um, what word you have chosen if it was different than mine and how you are going to ignite hope um, and kindness and all those great things in your artwork. Take a picture and post it online for me to see.